Hey everybody, Craig here. You know what, I'm gonna go shoot a brand new school because I can do that because I work for myself, I'm freelance. I can shoot any school that I want. But when I pick a new school to shoot, I like to be prepared before I even get there. So I turn to Google Maps. What does Google Maps have to do with sports photography? Let me show you. So there's a new school I'm gonna be covering this year. Newport High School. So I type in Newport High School and look, it takes me right to where I need to go. Google Maps is really good at getting you from point A to point B and the fastest route and the safest route and it's something else that's really cool. So you got this view right here and you can see exactly where it's at, the, the streets around it, but I wanna see where I can park. I don't see any place where I can park. How far do I have to walk to get to where I need to get to? So I hit satellite and immediately, look, I can see the football field, it looks really cool. And right here, I can see there's parking available here. Looks like along the street. And also, looks like there's a parking spot here. Let's see. Yeah, looks like that's part of the school, so I could park there if I need to. So this comes very handy, especially if I'm carrying some extra gear, like shooting video as well. I can take a look and see how far I may have to walk to get where I need to go. Now, another great thing that Google Maps does, when you're in the satellite view, I can look and see the lighting. Like right now I can see, here's the lights. There's the shadow from the lights. I can see it's got several lights there. On this side, you can't see that as well. I can go here and I can see several lights, lots of lights. I probably would have little problems with lighting on this field. Now to give you a different idea, here's a school I currently cover. Prairie High School in Oregon. Yep, this is the school. This is the football field right there. As you can see, it's a very small football field. Not much going on. They're a 1A school, eight man football. So that tells you a lot right there. So what I can do is, as you can see, it's a pretty small area, but I can zoom right in again. And you can see there's the light poles. Act just the shadow of the light poles, but they're pretty small. So that tells me from about here back to the end zone is probably gonna be pretty dark. So I'm gonna wanna focus my attention on this part of the field right through here. It's gonna be my best bet for getting the best shots. Now, another thing I can do, I can go down to the street view and turn around and I can see, well, there's the field. Yep, and you can see there are the lights. There's one missing right there. So that's a, that was a problem. And I can look right all the way up and see that there's lights. There are light fixtures missing. So when I went to the school, when I first started covering them, I did all this. And I had a D7000, my Nikon at the time. It doesn't do great in low light situations with dark uniforms. So this information was very valuable for me. So another school I'm gonna be covering, also in Oregon, Wildport High School. And as you can see, another nice looking field. You can see the light pole right there. It doesn't look the best, neither does that one. So I may have some troubles with the lighting at this field. Hopefully not. Uh, plenty of parking, not a problem. I'll be able to get to that really easily, which is good. But as you can see, using Google Maps with their satellite imagery, you can get a good feel for what you can expect when you go to a new game. One other example, Blanchett Catholic School. Right there, as you can see, there's a soccer field. Huh, no football. Um, that's more of a practice field, but they don't have a football field. So what I found out was they play football at a local university. Way cool, right? Let's find out. And here we go. This is where they play at. Willamette University. Nice university. So of course, they're going to have great lighting, right? Yes, they do. Again, you can see their lighting system. You can see it right through here. You can see a whole bank of lights there. It's actually a little light there. Another look at all those lights. Look at all those lights. Ah, great stuff, right? That's how I use Google Maps to help me with my sports photography. I like being prepared before I even get to the game. So not only do I double check all my equipment, I plan in advance how I'm gonna get there, where I can park, and what the conditions are gonna be on the field. You can use this for softball, baseball, soccer, lots of the outdoor sports, obviously indoor sports, can't see the gym too well. However, you can do a Google search for images of the school you're gonna be covering and get a good idea of the lighting situation is as well. So hope this little quick tip helped you guys out and don't forget to subscribe below and hit the little bell so you can get all my new notifications. Thanks for joining me once again and don't forget, if you have nothing else going on, grab your camera and get out and shoot.